Hello, I'm Luigi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how to assign a sidecap IP address to an AWS Lambda function. Let's get started. To configure your Lambda function to use a sidecap IP address, network resources properly set up are required. You can see the flow of the traffic on your screen. By default, you will already have a VPC, public subnet, a security group, and an internet gateway. We create a NAT gateway along with the private subnet and configure the network resources to make sure that there is public connectivity to your Lambda function. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Console. Then, from the left side, select NAT Gateways. On the top right corner of the page, select Create NAT Gateway. Enter a name for the NAT Gateway. By default, all the subnets in this list are public subnets because they route the public traffic to an internet gateway. If you have different configuration, then make sure that you select a public subnet that routes the traffic to an internet gateway. To access the public internet, make sure that you use public as the connectivity type. Note that this is set by default. Select Allocate Elastic IP. Select Create NAT Gateway. Note that it can take a few minutes to complete the creation. We just created NAT gateway in a public subnet. The public subnet routing table has a route with destination 0.0.0.0/0 targeting the internet gateway. Now it's time to create a new routing table and convert one or more subnets to private. The private subnet will be the one used by the Lambda function. From the left navigation bar, choose Route Tables under Virtual Private Cloud. You can see the list of routing tables that you have in this region for multiple VPCs. On the top right corner of the page, select Create Route Table. Enter a name to the route table. Then select the VPC that you want to use. To confirm the creation of the routing table, select Create Route Table. The process can take a few seconds. When it's complete, you will see a single local route with the CIDR of your VPC for the local traffic. To make sure that the created route table routes the public traffic to the NAT gateway, first add a new route, then select Edit Routes. Choose Add Route. The new fields that appear next to destination and target must be populated. For the destination, specify 0.0.0 dot zero slash zero and then for the target specify not gateway then again under target from the list specify the not gateway that we created earlier select save changes the not gateway and the new private routing table are now created let's attach the private routing table to one of our public subnets to change it to a private subnet so Choose Subnets from the left navigation bar and select one of the subnets that you want to make private. Make sure that you don't use the public subnet that you used when you have created the NAT gateway. From the Route Table section, choose Edit Route Table Association. Select the Route Table in the list that we just created and then save. At this point, we have the following networking flow in place. We can now apply the network configuration to our Lambda function. Note that it is important to attach the AWS Managed Policy AWS Lambda VPC Access Execution Rule to the execution rule of your Lambda function to grant the required permission to attach a VPC. From the VPC console or the AWS Management Console, Navigate to the AWS Lambda console. I don't have a Lambda function, so I will create a new one where no VPC is specified. The process might take a few seconds. Know that if you already have a Lambda function, you don't need to create a new one. Make sure that you have the AWS Managed Policy AWS Lambda VPC Access Execution Role attached to the Lambda Execution Role. From the Lambda function main console, navigate to Permissions using the Configuration tab. In the execution rule section, find your execution rule and then select it. Under permission policies, 
make sure that you have the AWS managed policy AWS Lambda VPC access execution role. If you don't have this, choose add permission and then attach policies. In the search bar, enter AWS Lambda VPC access execution role. Check the checkbox to select the AWS VPC access execution role policy. Choose add permissions. Navigate to the Lambda console. From the left navigation bar, select VPC and then click Edit to configure Lambda function to use a VPC. Choose the VPC where your NAT gateway is located. Also, choose one or more of the private networks that we have created earlier and then choose a security group. When you have specified the network resources, save it. The process can take a few minutes. And now you know how to assign a static IP address to a Lambda function. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.